Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, you know we always like reviewing new products here and this one is a pretty cool unboxing and we're gonna test it out. That is the Kodak Photo Printer. Now this is a newer model, it's the PD450W with Wi-Fi. So you should be able to connect Wi-Fi to it, print out stuff from your smartphone, but it does look like you can also dock your smartphone and use it with the iOS adapter if you have an iPhone. So simple and easy to use. Uh, really interested to see how this checks out. We have some cartridges we're gonna print out. You know, I always say it's kind of good to just be able to print out some of your photos. I know we're living in a society where we like to always uh, post everything and that's about it. But it's nice to always have some photos that you've printed out and that way you have hard copies of them too. So inside we have the general labeling, the uh, instructions that I probably should read, the adapter just letting me know that there is an adapter for an iPhone if I want to directly plug it. Protection paper, so this is uh, how I'm going to, I guess, put it in, so we'll figure out how to load that. And I'm guessing this tray is what I'm putting that in. And it kind of tells you some instructions here, so one touch to print charging. Oh, it actually charges while it's docked. That's pretty cool. All right. So the step uh, by step instructions are turn on the printer, enter the passcode and dock uh, and dock your smartphone. Press one touch button uh, for app launch. Select the photo on your device and press one touch button to print. And that's about it. So seems pretty simple enough. It is coming from Kodak, so we do expect, of course, easy to use on here. So that's really great to see. And now let's actually take out the printer itself. Oh, it's smaller than I thought it would be. For some reason I thought it was bigger. And the last stuff in here is just the cables. So I'm gonna get all this set up and then we will test out a print. All right guys, so we are ready to print now, but here's the funny thing. Most phones in 2017 don't have a micro USB anymore. They do give you this cool iPhone adapter, so if you have an iPhone, you're all set, but if you got an S8 or an LG G6 or a lot of the new phones that are coming out in 2017, make sure to use your own adapter that comes inside the box. So these come inside the box for these new phones. LG has one. S8 has one, I believe HTC has one as well. So just make sure to use this little adapter right here just to be able to set it the right way. Of course you want to point it the right way. And then once we have that, we can now plug our phone in. So basically as soon as you dock it, it should automatically launch the app. Uh, so that's simple. If it doesn't, uh, I did read the instructions. If it doesn't for any reason, you can download the app. Uh, it's just called Kodak Photo Printer, uh, or sorry, Kodak uh, Printer Dock is the app name. So just download it that way. And then you simply go to your gallery and print out. Now, please note, you can also print from a USB flash drive or a regular camera. So if you do have one of those, you can connect it into the USB port and print out that way. You can also connect it via Wi-Fi. So a couple of different ways to print. For mine, I'm going to uh, end up printing uh, one of our honeymoon or wedding photos. So let me print out one of uh, mine and my wife's wedding photos. So it looks really nice here. So yeah, we'll do this one. And you can uh, edit it, it looks like as well. So let's just hit edit. And let's just make sure that my head doesn't get chopped off, but her ring also is fully in the shot. And there we go. So I think that's the perfect edit right there. Uh, you can edit more if you want to crop or decorate or do anything like that. But we're just gonna hit this one touch button and then it's gonna print. So this is an old style printing uh, method. So uh, in order to not smear it or anything along those lines, it's probably going to print uh, three different colors. Um, and yeah, it is. So step one, yellow color, then it'll probably be magenta, um, and then it'll uh, do the final coating. So you kind of can't see it, but it's right here. And will it show? Yes. So it's showing this yellow part over here. So this is the yellow layer. 
By the way, if you haven't been following us for long, I'm trying to get my wife to get on uh, the channel and she will make a special guest appearance when we get to 200,000 subscribers. So let's get to that number while I have you guys here. So right here we have uh, the magenta layer printing out and then the cyan. I always forget the blue, I call it blue color, but the cyan color. And I'm very curious to see how this prints out overall. And is it gonna end on this side or this side? I think that's it, it should be done. And yep, yeah, it's done. All right, so you can see simple, easy to print out. I don't know if it's like fragile for a second, but you have these cutouts so to make the uh, perfect uh, four by six uh, style. So really nice and great, uh, great photo, really good quality. I, I've definitely, I have tested out some other uh, printers in the past and this does look to seem to be a bit better quality than uh, the ones I have seen beforehand. So good job. I, I really did expect a good quality from Kodak. Really simple uh, to use, easy printer. Something you can give to a mom, a grandparent. Very simple and easy to print out. But something always great just to have uh, ready anytime you want to print out a photo. Say if I wanted to give this to my wife, which I will give this to her. So say if she wants to have it at her desk, now she has this photo there. All right, guys, thank you as always for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, thumbs up. This has been R-I-C-K-Y the YouTube tech guy.